Good morning, Thunder Eagles. This is Mrs. Grice. I'm going to share with you this morning a story from a website called Epic Books. It's the first in a series called Kitty and Dragon. There are three books. You can see them here. There's Kitty and Dragon, Kitty and Dragon, Kitty Gets a Cold, and Kitty and Dragon, Kitty Tidies Up. I'm going to read this first one. Here we go. Kitty and Dragon by Mika Hashimoto and illustrated by Gillian Reed. Kitty lives in a barn. It is a very noisy barn. The horses whinny, the cows moo, the sheep baa, the pigs oink, the chickens squawk. Kitty does not like noise. Kitty leaves the very noisy barn. She will look for a new home, a quiet home. Kitty goes into town. She passes the spell and potion shop. She passes the milk shop and the tea shop. The shops are too noisy. Kitty keeps walking. Kitty enters a forest. At first, it is very quiet. Fairies fly over to Kitty. Beware the silent dragon, they shout. Beware his fiery breath. The fairies are very noisy. Kitty keeps walking. Kitty comes to a swamp. A frog jumps out of the water. Beware the silent dragon, he croaks. More frogs jump out of the water. Beware the silent dragon, they croak. Beware his long, sharp claws. Frog voices fill the swamp. Kitty is not scared. She keeps walking. Kitty reaches a valley with green grassy hills. Suddenly, the ground begins to shake. The hills are full of stomping giants. Beware the silent dragon, they yell. Beware his spiky tail. Kitty sighs. She keeps walking. Kitty arrives at a mountain. It is a very tall mountain. She starts to climb and climb. Kitty climbs above the noisy barn. She climbs above the noisy town. She climbs above the noisy forest, the noisy swamp, and the noisy hills. On top of the mountain, Kitty finds a cave. She goes inside. It is very quiet inside the cave. There is a warm fire. There is a soft rug. Kitty is tired. She curls up on the rug. She takes a nap. When Kitty wakes up, she sees a dragon. He has fiery breath. He has long, sharp claws. He has a spiky tail. But Kitty is not afraid. Hello, dragon, Kitty says. I am looking for a new home. A quiet home. Can I stay here with you? Dragon smiles. He wags his tail. He nods. He is so happy to have a new friend. Dragon makes Kitty her very own rug. He brings her fresh milk. Kitty trims Dragon's claws. She chases the mice away. Dragon likes living with Kitty. Kitty likes living with Dragon. At night, Dragon tucks Kitty under his wing. Together, the two friends fall asleep. Kitty is happy in her new, quiet home. Doesn't look very quiet for Dragon though, does it? Last page. All right, friends, that was Kitty and Dragon. It is a series, so if you are able to get onto Epic at Home, there are two more books that you could read, and they are read to me books, so you could have it read to you, or you could read it out loud. The next book is called Kitty and Dragon, and then the last one is Kitty and Dragon, Kitty Tidies Up.